Yo, good morning world. Uh, we are back in the racks. I'm in Goodwill in Oakville, I think. Had to come pick up my a disc that I lost a couple weeks ago. It was like one of my favorite disco discs. So I found it. So I had to come pick it up. And since we're in Oakville, we might as well hit the racks. I got some deliveries I have to drop off. There's a chit chat in Oakville, luckily, so I don't have to go back through Hamilton. So uh, let's go see what we got. We're at this at this weird Goodwill that I've been to once that is randomly really big and like super old. But I found some decent stuff last time, so let's go see what we got. Also, the weather is absolutely horrible. It's pouring rain. Can't really tell, but not a fun drive all the way up here today. I found an Austin 316 from 2017, 3XL. They got eight bucks on it, so I'm not paying that. And there's also a bootleg Juice World shirt here, I think. Looks horrible. Looks like it was printed off a computer. Definitely leaving that too. Can't lie, their prices here are a bit wild. This is a 1995 Poe backpack. They got eight bucks on it. Like, come on, bro. No way. Really adorable little Tweety purse side bag here. Also $8. I don't know, man. This store is kind of tripping. All right, Salvation Army in Burlington. That last store was kind of tripping. Let's go see how this one does. Now this is fine art, baby. Some really cool needlepoint or cross stitch. I don't know what it is. Michelle likes these. What? 20 bucks. Never heard of this brand before. It says Get Fresh Company. 498 Queen Street, West Toronto. There's two shirts here. This one's really sick. I'd rock that if it would fit me, but it won't. And this one's kind of fucked up. But they're both by the same brand. Both pretty cool. But I'm gonna skip. Another weird brand I've never heard of. It says, this Bowery garment is a vessel for the dead. Your debt is paid in full. Enjoy the silence. Sick graphic though. But it's 11 bucks, so I'm not gonna buy it. Finally, just what I always needed. Potty putter. Some size nine zoom hyperfuse. 15 bucks is okay, but they're only worth about 40, so eh. So far the threats are doing nothing for me today, but we're gonna try one more. I'm at Value Village uh, here in Burlington. The old ass one. The one I've only ever hit at once, but when I hit, it was good, so let's go try it. Never seen this the mountain print before. This one is dope as hell. It's modern, 2013. If this was my size, I'd a thousand percent buy it. But I'm gonna skip because it's seven bucks. I've seen some ugly shirts before, but god damn, is that ever ugly? I literally have live slow die whenever with a sloth tattooed on the back of my leg, and here it is on a shirt. Wow. Old Mad Engines usually sell pretty well. This one's a more modern one, Marvel Mad Engine. They got 11 on it, so I'm definitely gonna skip. This print seems really low quality. It feels gross. Looks like somebody made a battle bot out of Lego. Crazy. There's a motor in it and everything. It looks pretty good. Bunch of strikeouts today, but tomorrow we'll be in a new area because I have to go up to my Nana's. So uh, we'll be at some stores we've never hit before, so maybe we'll have some luck there. I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Yo, world. What's good? I'm in Brantford. Yesterday I went to um, Strathroy to help my Nana with her computer. It's all messed up. I don't know. She got uh, hacked, unfortunately. And I went to go thrifting, but I ran out of time. So now I figured, let's go hit Value Village. I haven't been here in like a month, at least. To the brand for one because this sucks dog dick but let's go try it out Got a cool little race interior off the bat 2xl it's 10.49 i honestly might grab this for myself and try it on we'll see i used to kind of shit on people for watching sons of anarchy because and i had never watched it so i was like an asshole michelle and i've been watching it and it's good bro sons of anarchy kind of slaps i get the hype there's another little racing tee little napa racing tee this one's an xl much less cool than the last, the other one. This one's nine bucks, so I'm gonna leave it. See, I'd pick up a shirt like this just for the ten dollar bin, but I can't because it's eight bucks. 
not even worth it after paying tax and uh, I'm making like a dollar. What's the point? Wake up, save our earth. This is sick. This is painted. It says Punta Cana 2018. Feels hand painted. That's nuts. There's a really cool single stitch puff print New Orleans shirt. It says 1990, dated. Graphics dope. But it's nine bucks. So I don't think I can bother picking that up. Way too much money. Cool pair of Adidas. They're called the Crazy BYWs, I guess. Yeah, not too bad a shape. They're very like cushiony. If these were my size, I'd buy them. It says they're a nine. So I'm not gonna mess with them. They're 25 bucks. Look, I'm wearing these literally these exact shoes right now. Wow, look at that. What size are these? These are the exact shoes I have on, size 11. That's weird. So this does fit, but it really smells like darts, which is arguably the worst smell in the entire world. So I'm gonna leave it at 11 bucks. I'm not selling it. And this, I'm not gonna wear it, so I'm gonna leave it. There's no music playing. It's honestly kind of weird. Like it's just silent in here. Oh, this is cool. Orange County Choppers hoodie. This is really cool. $12.99. It's a Levon, so it's vintage. Well, you know, as old as Orange County Choppers is. I might grab that for $12.99. This request jersey is kind of fire, but it's all fucked up. It's all pilled there. It's got a big stain on the back. So, I'm going to leave it. $4.99, actually a good price, but we're leaving it. My hair's going crazy today. See, every American flipper buys these every time they see them. But in Canada, you can't ship that. That would be like 60 bucks to ship. So there's no money to be made at all. Found these old Nike shoes. I don't know what sport they're for. Look, they have like no tread on them. But they're not supposed to. But they kind of are sick. That's gonna be all she wrote for this one. Um, this Valley Village I haven't been to in forever. Their prices are just so bonkers and it's always so many people in the morning. It's I came at 11, so I think all the people who are there at doors aren't there anymore. I don't know why the hell I used to come here every day for doors because it was garbage. It's still garbage. But um, I have a lot of inventory right now, so I don't really care. Um, I picked up that West Coast Choppers uh, hoodie. It's from 2003. I saw a date on the back, so... It was fine, $12.99 is okay for that. I'll probably get $20.25 for it. I have a market coming up. Then I'm gonna price some stuff really cheap because I just wanna get a lot of stuff out. Um, yeah, but that's gonna be all she wrote. I'll see you on the next one for whatever it is we do. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of mixing things up. I'm not going thrifting as much anymore because I just have too much stuff. And um, I just am not enjoying it as much as I used to because there's just nothing good, honestly. Like, it's just like, I watch all these other people get sick hauls all the time, and I just kind of get garbage, but that's okay. Can't always hit, but I'd like to hit sometimes. But anyways, I'm rambling. I'll see you all in the next video. You've probably clicked out by now anyways, but just in case you haven't, I love you. You're beautiful. And keep killing it, baby.